Hey, yo, check this out. It's your boy NRE representing my man at DallasPen.com. You know how we do it, B. Um, Amelia is more from Haley. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, I know you for years. Yeah, Um, You know, they always talk about how the business is changing, how it's changed from an album to a single world, how the internet has everything. From you guys seeing it from the beginning to now, what is the thing that you think is the most important thing people need to know about putting your music out now? Uh, I think when, it, when you ask me that question, I think one of the one of the important parts, one of the foulest parts of, the, of those elements is a lot of times, that's how the record labels is. They train in these young guys. Like, I had a meeting recently, um, a while ago, before we started doing the CNN, and the record label only went to hear two records, you know what I'm saying? Because they wanted to hear them, which one is going to be on the radio, and which one is going to be for the clubs. When, I, when we come from the era, era of making a great album, a whole great body of work, like, I, I, I play every record, and I noticed that, you know, I looked at everybody's face. Y'all might have not looked at that, looked at me paying attention to y'all, but that's what I want. That's what I'm in there for. I'm in there to make a great body of work, the whole thing from the beginning to the end, whether it's laughing, whether it's, it's street shit. So I think that when you ask about the change, I think that the record, a lot for the most part, some record labels are, are, are the devil when it comes to that because they're only just interested in that, that one record that's you know it's gonna make people dance or whatever and then this guy works in UPS two months later you know what I'm yeah. saying because that th those royalty checks run out and if it don't go platinum you can't go can't try something commercial and it don't go platinum and then it, it ruins people's careers so yeah. that's that's my answer and we'll report two is definitely it's a whole bottle a whole world. motherfucking it's body of work that's a camouflage it's it's it's, it's bath bounty and beyond and camouflage yeah. you know what I'm saying <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I don't know, it was freestyle, it was freestyle, it was freestyle. Go ahead, hold, hold, hold that. Yeah, uh, when you introduced that record um, uh, where you shouted out uh, Trash, where you right. pay respect to Trash, uh, a lot of critics, a lot of purists were concerned because um, Tragedy wasn't uh, involved with this album. Right. How could it be another war report? Uh, well, let me, let me, let me, let me, the, the, the reason being is, is it, you know, um, it's the same way with Poem was locked up. Poem was locked up. It's still, like, still the war report. He's not supposed to stop making the war report because I'm locked up. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Mean? So, and, and to tell you the truth, I, a lot of the critics, I, 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 I listen to them. And I actually reached out. I actually do speak to Trad's girl. But um, uh, Trad's, he can't actually call uh, out of state numbers. You know what I'm saying? Where he's locked up at. So it's, it, 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 was, it was either a choice of forcing a record, meaning just taking one of his verses and just forcing it to fit the album because just because you got a verse doesn't mean it's going to fit the album you know what i'm saying you got to act just you know what i mean and and it, we, we try so many different things try using the acapella and then you know what i mean it was just like you know what and then not only that but trash is in a different space in his life so what if he comes home he's you know what i'm saying the illest orthodox Muslim in the world, and he don't want to be on the album with curses. So I gotta respect this man's wishes. Not to say that that's the case, yeah, but I, I haven't spoke to him direct, so I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So he's supposed to be home soon. So when he's home soon, we, we definitely gonna get him on the remix. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, hopefully we get him on T on Y part two. You know what I'm saying? So which we didn't play yet. You can't wait for that. Yeah. Well, yeah. We didn't well, play that yet. That was the go home present. <laughs> Second part of this question is: okay. What is the deal? with the water that goes through Queensbridge, Flushing, and Corona. I tell you, it breeds gangsters, generals, and great rappers. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't gonna tell you, even the girls got a little bit, you know what I mean, man? I'm telling you. Queen so stand up. Water. Yes, right. Queen, I ain't gonna front, man. You know what? How many of y'all here from, from New York, everybody? New York, man. New York all day. How many of y'all grew up on Capone over here? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. So T-O-N-Y. Know, so y'all know we are queens. We are queens. Cool. Next question. <laughs> don't, don't be scared, man. I got one. What's up? How are we gonna keep these DJs rocking New York City records instead of everything else? You know that's that a, a good one. That, that's a big problem because I, I liked it what you said earlier. Um, a lot of the times, you know, when when a person makes a record and, and the person definitely makes a top forty record, it's actually every state is actually forced forced to play it, right? So it's like so now not not now what I'm, what I'm trying to, my point I'm trying to say is if a person has has a record that took off in the South or in the West Coast or anywhere New York is forced to play because they forced to play by a playlist. 
but not a, so so that's not the actual problem. The actual problem is your local acts. Like you can go. The reason why Waka Flocka and Gucci Man is so popular here is because they're popular in their state first. Right. True. You yeah. feel me? So the problem is, it's like a lot of people they have to start respecting our legends, and we got to pay attention to it because they didn't respect Big Daddy Kane when he got old. They didn't respect Rock him when he got old. They just went on to the next one. Everything it. can't be on to the next one. I got to say you that. can't. It's great. It's a great statement on to the next one. Great record, but don't live your life by that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like let's respect. Now, if, if we did that, then Ray Ray Kwan would be considered old or considered whatever. But he just made the best album of 2009. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say is. Is how we conquer that problem is continuing making great records, mm -hmm. not necessarily always hit records that have to be on the radio. Mm -hmm. It's you, it, just you have to speak to your audience. So as long as you keep creating great bodies of work, the DJs will have to, you know what I'm saying, play the game with us because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they're fans too. I think you know what I'm saying.